lots, and especially in the winter time, we'd have a wood burning stove that we'd burn wood in for heat. And he'd always bring me some homemade butter. And then we'd cut slices of bread and put it on top of this old stove, put the butter on it, and when the butter started milking, we used to eat the bread. But he'd almost <laughs> visit us, he'd, he'd visit us almost every night. He loved to come over and talk with my mother and dad. Yeah. Uh, hmm. yeah. What you did, you didn't have all the things we have today. Huh? Um, you were saying, uh, oh, about your school. Uh, you had told us some stories about your first day at school, and we need to get that on the tape. <laughs> the first day I went to school, I spoke a lot of Italian because my mother and dad spoke Italian, and I had a hard time learning the English language. But the first day I went to school, a lady by the Miss Thelma Franks, who has lived in Santa Fe for years, she's passed away now, but she was a wonderful teacher. <coughs> she was explaining to us that we had to be seven years old before we went to school, before September the 1st, or else you'd have to wait another year. And I remember that old man, Brett, was a school board trustee at that time. But uh, we'd go to school, and Miss Thelma Franks explained to us what we had to do if we had to go to the restroom, which was downstairs, down underneath the building. And the, one, the first day, she uh, was explaining what we had to do and what we should do and shouldn't do, so I was the first one to raise my hand. And I told her that I had to go to the restroom. She says, okay. She says, do you know where it is? And I says, yes, ma'am. Well, go on down. When you get through, come back. I went on down, but I didn't stop at the restroom. I ran all the way home because I didn't want to go to school. <laughs> so when I got to school, my mother says, told my sister, either you take him back there or I'm going to whip his butt in Italian. And I knew that my mother could spank pretty good. So I went back, and I stayed there all day. And I learned to go to school and picked up the English language. You had to <laughs> And you're saying uh, that they didn't have electricity down 2nd Street? And oh, no, we didn't have electricity till about 19, the late 30s. But it, there was electricity <coughs> in the <coughs> town. Huh? Yeah, we had, they had electricity here for the Hitchcock. One thing I remember about Freddie Myers. <coughs> he was a real good friend of mine. And he was about a year behind me in school. A year younger than I was. And he used to always come to Hitchcock, I mean, out to the house and pick me up on his bicycle. And he'd pump me all the way to Shiro store. Because all the guys that Quested brothers, the, uh, the Tarasos, the Kalanyas, they all came up here to listen to the Galveston Whitecaps when they had a Texas League team in Galveston. We could hear the ball game out here in front of Shiro's store. And Freddie used to pick me up and we'd come up and hear the ball game. And then after the ball game was over with, he'd pump me back home. And that was my transportation up here. Mr. Shiro didn't charge any uh, admission for Galveston. <coughs> no, he didn't. He'd put, uh, he'd put the radio by the window so we'd all sit on the outside listening to the ball game. Oh, really? From his, uh, out, uh, from his store, huh? Yeah, from his store. His store. Oh, yeah. Huh. He was, Mr. Shiro was a wonderful old man, I'll tell you. He'd make some of the better. Bologna sandwiches that you have ate in your life. <laughs> <laughs> they were 10 cents, and RC Cola was a nickel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. Uh, what, um, so, so then you went to high school in, in Lamarck. Yeah. Um, and uh, did, what, in school, elementary school, did y'all play any kind of sports or anything? We played uh, softball. But we didn't play basketball. We didn't have no basketball yeah. rings or anything like that. We didn't play football. Mostly it was softball uh -huh. that we had. And all of y'all 
all became pretty good baseball fans. Uh, I remember. Oh yeah, you, we all. You, Fred, I know you. Freddie was a real good baseball pitcher, and uh, I remember way back there. Now this was when I was about 18, 20 years old. We used to have a, a softball league back, here in Hitchcock. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence Engel had a team, and Louis and Pete Della Sandridge Fish Camp had a team, and. I don't know, there was about six teams in yeah. this league. Old man Alford, Billy Alford's daddy used to be one of the umpires that used to umpire. And Paul Field used to be over here where Stuart Elementary School is. Yeah. What position did you play? I pitched. I remember yeah. him pitching. My, my daddy mm -hmm. used to umpire some too. I think so, And yeah. I remember you pitching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Billy Alford's daddy and then I remember somebody else that used to always be out there. But we had, a, that was our yeah, uh, was activities at night, you know, was right. entertainment. Electricity, mm -hmm. entertainment, we had this league. I think there were six, six teams in this league. And the ladies <coughs> in the community club run up the concession stand, I, I, I think so. Club. And then they also had, uh, at Stewart Elementary, they had a, a square dancing school that Community center? Community, community center. center, yeah. They did used oh, to teach uh -huh. young people, teenagers, how to square dance. Carlton was the instructor. I was trying to think of his name. Carlton was the, was the instructor. He taught the square dance. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Carlton? Yeah. Hitchcock? Julius Carlton? <coughs> I don't and know. I remember Freddie Myers and I and your daddy, North. We went to a dancing school in Galveston. Not my daddy, <laughs> my brother. No, not your brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm just talking. Your brother, your oldest brother. <laughs> we went to school in Galveston to the Sorensen sisters. There's two sisters out there about on 18th and 19th. <coughs> uh, but we didn't learn how to dance. Because oh. <laughs> I'll always remember the first date that I had with my wife. I was working then at Pan American. She was too. And she had a nice long evening gown at the dance. We went to the hotel where there was Pan American was having this dance. And I stepped all over her dance. Her shirt <laughs> tore it all up. <coughs> she forgave me for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she, you, you paid her for dance lessons and you didn't learn. You didn't learn. You know, always ask Nord if he remembered. He said, I didn't go to no dance school. I said, don't oh, bother really? me, Nord. I said, because I, I can get Freddie Myers, and he'll verify for me that you was with us. So did the lessons take with anybody who dances? Freddie, you're good. We all, we all played ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was going to mm -hmm. ask you about that baseball league. Softball, wasn't it? Yeah. So when you graduated from uh, high school, you went to work uh, Pan American. Pan American. And you worked I there? I worked there until they wanted to put me on shift work. And that's when I quit. Mm -hmm. And decided to go back to school. So then I went to work for Southern Select Brewery at night and went to a welding school in Galveston during the day. Mm -hmm. and then when you I worked in a machine shop in Galveston until 47 when they had the blast. And what I was doing, I was building shrimp conveyors for uh, Jack D. Mac, who still owns mm -hmm. some business in Galveston. And uh, I decided that uh, I'd go, I'd, uh, all of my wife's family lived in Texas City. So I decided I'd rather get a job in Texas City. And that's when I went to work for Monsanto after the after the blast and on construction. Mm -hmm. Then I worked at Tim Smelt, I worked at Sid Richardson, I worked at American Oil, Tech City Refineries mm -hmm. on construction. Worked at Carbide, but I, of all the plants that I worked, I felt like that I liked Monsanto best, so that's what I settled there. We had two children then and one on the way, and I said, well, you know what, I've got to give me a job where I can stay around here because I'd been to New Orleans and Louisiana working on construction jobs mm -hmm. too. But uh, so I settled in at Monsanto. So when 
So you were, uh, when did you build this house here in Hitchcock? What in 1950, started in 1951, but we finished it in 1952. When did you marry Brady? Agnes. In 1945. 1945. And you have how many children? Three. And their names? Patricia. She lives in Leadville, Colorado. And uh, Jack Michael, he lives in uh, Houston. And Dennis lives in Orange County, California. And you have, <coughs> and you have grandchildren? Yeah, Dennis has got four. And Jack's got two. Oh, okay. A little boy, about 16, and a little girl, three. And Dennis's daughter is 15. And he's got a, they've got a boy that's about 12, one 10, and one's about 6. And, and your daughter does not have any children? No children. No children. Okay. Do, did you want to take a shot of the pictures, Bobby? Um, of the uh, families, uh, we have a display of your family members, would you like to point out uh, who they are? Yeah, I start out here, this is my mother and dad. <clears throat> this is uh, a grammar school picture that was taken in 1932. This is all the kids that was going to all the grades in Hitchcock, oh. not just one grade. Okay. This is my brother, one of them, and this is my other brother. That, the, the first one is who? His, one? his Merle. That's Merle. Yeah, and this is Joe. Mm -hmm. And this is my sister and I. We was walking somewhere in Galveston and somebody took that picture. And this is the picture of the old house that my mother and dad lived in. And the picture right above it is the picture of my dad and my two brothers, my sister and myself. And this is a picture of my mother holding our uh, little baby girl, daughter, when she was about uh, two or three months old. The, uh, the home was uh, torn down in the last three or four years, hasn't it been? Yeah, it's been about four years now, I think. It's, uh, I had it torn down. It was pretty bad shape. <coughs> but I kept the doors on it and a couple of light fixtures that we had in there. Yeah. I remember when I was a little bitty kid, now we didn't have electricity. You know, Warren Kimlin was the one that wired that house. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was so sure nice to have electricity. What year uh, was yeah. that y'all uh, got electricity? Oh, it was probably around 19, in the late 30s, 35, uh, 37, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. okay. Frank Fasetto, and my mother's name was Biagina Fasetto. And they came from a northern Italy, pretty close to the Swiss border. The name of the town was a little old country town they called Cumiana. And that's where most of all of my mother's and father's kinfolks lived. In fact, in 1972, when my wife and I went to Italy to pay him a visit. We still seen my dad's old house, the house that he was born in. Okay. It was still standing in Cumiana, Italy. Your mother's uh, maiden name? Masera. Masera. Yeah. She uh, was a wonderful person. I had an uncle in Galveston. He's dead now. Ottavio Masera. But he came here when he was 10 years old. <coughs> and, my, and he never did go to, to a, an American school. He taught himself how to read and speak English. Mm -hmm. And he's been dead about 15 years now, but he owned a grocery store in Galveston. But he used to always tell me, he said, if you want to make money, buy real estate. Old buildings, fix it up, and then rent it. That was his theory. Mm -hmm. And when he died, he had about 20 houses in Galveston. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did did he come before your mother came to No, I'm after. After. Yeah. Okay. They had already my mother and dad had already been here about 
almost seven, eight years when he decided to come. He came in when he was 10 years old and he came over to America by himself with a few other Italian families that they knew that were coming over here. <coughs> in the uh, early 20s, 1914, 15, something like that, 12, a, a lot of Italian people came over here. Yeah. Because this was where, and they came over here not with the intention of staying here. Come over and make a little money in a few years and go back to Italy, but most of it enjoyed staying over here in America. Mm -hmm. I had my mother's sister, Martha, Martha Monte, who I can't even think of his name now, but he had a, he had land, he had a farm where the north, east, west, by terraces. Mm -hmm. He owned.